Hey guys, welcome to Flight Test. Hello. I'm Josh. This is Josh. Hi. And we are here in the valley of Los Angeles, California. Yes, we are. Here at the Warm. Apollo 11 uh, field, flying field. Yes. Apollo 11, just like Neil Armstrong yes. landing on the moon. Also in Sepulveda Basin Park. Yeah. But we are here to talk about the F6F Thundercat. Hellcat. Hell. What? Hellcat. Oh, that's the name of that's it. That's the name of it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Hellcat. The so, Hellcat. Instead of and, like meow, it's yeah. more like meow. And today, guys, you're in a special treat. Not only do we get to fly at the first ever public park I've ever seen in my life for flying fields, but we also get to maiden this bad boy. So we're going to go ahead and take it up, see what it can do, hopefully not crash it. I have a feeling it's going to fly really good, and uh, then we'll talk about it afterwards. All right. All right, let's do it. Let's get it up in the air. All right, guys, here we are. We're going to go ahead and cycle the controls. Got the battery in it. Watch your hand there, bud. Yep. Rub prop. Good to Keep go. your hands away from the prop. I'm eager to fly. I want to fly. Let's go ahead and put this thing right. on. Let's go. Where at? Oh, uh, right there. All right. How's your taxi? Yep. What? Okay, we're off the ground already. Off the ground. There we go. Ha! No trim needed. Are you good? Very good. So that looks a lot like the uh, F4F Wildcat. You are absolutely right. It is an upgraded version to the. F4F Wildcat, basically so you go it's from Hellcat. wild to hell. Yes, it's okay. it's a uh, EPO, four channel, and the neat thing about this bad boy is it's uh, incredibly powerful. A lot of a uh, lot of power. The Wildcat in World War II was actually uh, not as powerful. The Hellcat had a bigger motor, uh, much more armament on it, self-sealing gas tanks, and actually had a higher kill ratio than the. Uh, than its predecessors, and even the P-51 Mustang. So it's a really amazing uh, piece of history, and it flies just hands off. Look at this. Inverted flight just requires a touch of uh, forward pressure, which is nice. And the nice thing about this, if you guys have a rough field and you're worried about that landing gear, the landing gear comes off with two snaps, so we can actually hand launch it very, very easily. So snap it off by hand? Snap it off by hand, you got it. Right. Uh, I do need to adjust expose a little bit. It's a little bit touchy on pitch control, but uh, that's okay. We can adjust that. For the Maiden, it's very, very uneventful and uh, very well balanced. The nice thing is, is it takes a 1300 uh, milliamp battery pack, which is a very easy, uh, efficient battery pack. It has a 750 kV outrunner motor, very quiet and plenty of power. It also comes with a very, very authentic looking prop. And uh, the Hellcat's famous because the Wildcat previous version was far more, uh, or far less powered. It had a lot less power, it couldn't go vertical. Less power. Uh, less power, yes. The Hellcat, on the other hand, uh, had far bigger engine, also self-sealing gas tanks and more armament made it uh, a bear to shoot down. It actually had a better kill ratio than the Mustangs and the, the uh, Wildcats. Very, very good airplane. So, this yeah, is a so very good flying airplane too. It's We're flying in good wind. information there. Very yeah. Cool. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Gotta give people some history. Yeah. Guys, just so you know, right now I'm flying at 65% dual rate and 20% uh, expo, and it takes away the pitchiness really, really nicely. I, uh, I like it with this setup. Ailerons, 100%. Plenty of aileron authority. Rudder is uh, very minimal. Rudder's only about a quarter inch each way, and uh, that's good. All right, buddy, you ready to bring it in for a We're landing? ready to bring it in. Let's bring it in. Okay. But you know what's amazing here? This one guy's gonna do a low pass. We'll just do a quick turn around here real quick. Okay. All right, there we go. All right. I remember what we talked about. Got the throttle back a little bit. Bring it on in. There bring it on in. There we go. Beautiful. Thank you. What's the saying? Any landing where you don't die and you can walk afterwards. It's pretty darn cool. It means it cool. wasn't that bad. Yeah. Because your legs are still working and you're alive. You know the nice thing is it has a suitable tail wheel so we can like really manipulate oh. it off the ground. Isn't that cool? Yeah. All right. Why don't you go ahead and grab it All right. and uh, we'll talk about it. All right. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, man. Let's check it out. Let's do it. I'll tell you what, friends. For a mating, it was probably one of the least stressful maidens I've ever had in my life. Uh, it's an amazing, easy flying airplane. I'll tell you what, the elevator is very, very touchy, so you're gonna definitely wanna make sure uh, you dial it back. Like I said, I was doing about 65% dual rate and about 30% uh, to 20% expo would be perfect for this thing. 100% on the ailerons, uh, and let's talk about this, okay? Let's talk about it. Let's, let's talk get into about the nitty gritty. The nitty gritty, the full the full schwami. Up front here, what? you got an the full schwami. We'll talk about Go it later. On. Okay, Go that's on. one of my made up words. Yeah. All right. At the front here, we got a 750 kV high torque motor, which prevents, uh, provides plenty of power. It's also very efficient. We're flying this on a 1300 uh, milliamp battery pack three cell, and it performed really, really well. The nice thing with the low kV, high torque, uh, it didn't have to work very hard to power it through the air. And I'll tell you one thing also, this is EPO, but it's very, very, very light. Uh, once I throttled back, I had a hard time getting this thing on the ground, which resulted in many, many go arounds. And uh, it's a four channel airplane, steerable tailwheel, 
right here. He actually, this actually steals with the rudder, which is wonderful. Wow. Each aileron has its own servo, which so is real nice. you can taxi. You got it. They also add in the kit a real nice detail, which bomb. is- Bomb. You can drop on your friends. Um, not it's a bomb. It's not lethal. It's, I it's, mean. It's not a bomb. What it actually is, is a drop tank. Back in uh, World War II, they had to get extended range out of these guys. They put a drop tank on this. I think it's really cool that they have this little piece of detail. Now let's go ahead and talk about the landing gear here. Basically, if you have a rough field and you're worried about this landing gear, which did hold up really well, um, you could fly in a simple grass field. All you simply need to do is pop out this little clevis right here. Landing gear rotates up, slides out, put the clevis back in. So you can go simply from taking it off to hand launching it. The only thing I would advise, if you're gonna do this, make sure you make this removable. I glued this in solid. It works out really good because I'm not planning on hand launching it. But if you go ahead and land on this, I don't think it's a matter of time before this little guy gets busted up pretty good. So make sure you take it off, okay? Um, battery compartments up in the front, easy at battery access. And all in all, it takes about 30 minutes to put this plane together. Uh, you take it out, it has a nice uh, wing tube in there. Uh, both wings slide in. The receiver actually, all your connections are made inside the belly and it actually folds up inside your belly. This little guy in here, this little pilot with He's no in arms, there for life. He is in there for he life. He lives there. He's never going anywhere else. He's packed his lunch and he's in there for good. He's, he's not going, yeah, he's, he's in there. I think it's a little optimistic this guy has shot down this many Japanese pilots, but who knows? Yeah, I mean, he could be a war hero. He's glued in there permanently. I guess he has a lot of time on his hands. He's probably they really called a pilot. Him, they called him the cat from hell and that's how the plane got its name. Is right? that what it is? I'm sure. All in all, I'll tell you what guys, you're going to have a very good experience putting this together. It's a very easy build. It takes, like I said, spare evening. It's going to be ready to go and you're going to be chomping at the bit. Now let me show you the front of this motor here. It's really nice. It comes with a beautiful scale prop and this hub is actually your prop nut. And it's on there really tight, but basically all you need to do to put this prop on is simply slide it over the groove. It locks in right over this high torque motor and then put your prop on. It's Locking as simple as that. Oh, you know what? And this also reminds me. Permanent magnets, so you can actually access your motor if you ever have to replace Classy. it. Classy. Who knows, maybe even soup it up a little bit. Yeah. Is there a, is there one step above a Hellcat? Oh, absolutely. What, what do you think? The Hades cat. The Hades cat? The pit of fire. Who's, whose phone is that? Josh Bixler. You gotta be it's, kidding me. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's, it's, it's Zach from uh, Washington. Okay, hold on. Hello? Hey, how you doing, Zach? Zach, you're interrupting the show. Oh, LA's going awesome. As a matter of fact, we're flying a, a review right now. You're gonna probably see yourself on camera. Yeah. The sun's going down. So, okay, but you know what? Let me let me go ahead and call you back, okay? Okay, oh. see you guys. See ya. All right, you guys, that was Zach from the Red Devil Squadron. He is an awesome, awesome young pilot. He's 16 years old. His best friend, Josh, is 15 years old. Both phenomenal pilots. So, all in all, friends, I'll tell you what, the amazing scale detail, there's beautiful mold lines, very authentic. The guns, the antenna, Everything added into this makes a very scale looking airplane in the air. Um, I have no doubt if you get this, you'll have a great experience flying it, great experience putting it together. And uh, as docile as it is, uh, Josh, could could, Josh could fly it. But you know what? We're wrapping up the show so you can't. Well, darn tootin'. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, we want to thank Hobby King for sponsoring this episode. We want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time. Let's go fly another. All right. Let's All go. right. Let's do it.